Sick dogs and cats were rescued from Kansas City's animal shelter this afternoon. Veterinarians say they're suffering from disease and respiratory infections. Lisa Benson was there as Wayside Waves rescued the dog. She joins us now live. Lisa? That's right. The sick animals could not be around the healthy animals, so they had to be checked out outside. But the goal is to get them healthy and find them homes. Stryker and Bingo were dropped off at the Halfway Home Pet Adoption Center last Wednesday. The uh, Rottweiler and the Chihuahua are very bonded, or the Chihuahua is at least very bonded with the Rottweiler. And um, so they have to stay together. And so we're going to try to adopt them out together. They are two of the 11 dogs and 18 cats workers at Wayside Waves rescued from Kansas City's animal shelter this afternoon. <coughs> All of the dogs were triaged at a medical tent while an expecting cat decided it was the perfect time to give birth. And we do have illness running around in the shelter right now. Kennel cough does get spread. Therefore, the kennel cough will take the immune system and it lowers it. The rampant disease among the animals at Halfway Home is why city leaders didn't renew their contract with the organization. Now they're looking for another company to operate the animal shelter. A lot of the shelters that, that are, are successful successful with adoptions and rescues are funded through private donations, a lot of charitable contributions. People aren't that excited about contributing to the city, donating to the city. An outside organization could save the city money in its care for abandoned animals and hopefully stop unwanted pets like Stryker and Bingo from being euthanized. Now, other than a few cases of kennel cough, most of the animals are in very good condition. Today, they will head to a foster parent. Then they'll be put up for adoption. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, NBC Action News. In March, we told you about allegations of animal mistreatment at Halfway Home that led to an investigation by the Missouri Veterinary Board. Those complaints were part of the city's decision not to renew the management contract. When the shelter was contracted out about two years ago, it saved the city $175,000.